Welcome to the show. This is the first of 23 videos of Leashy Picks picking just USA locks. I've assembled 23 of their Leashy Picks and the locks that they will pick. I've made a beautiful list at the end of this video. So get ready for some great lock picking from the Leashy world. Welcome to the show everyone. This is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. We are going to be showing off one of the coolest picks on the planet and it's first on the list of USA picks made by Leashy. So this pick will pick locks in the US of A. Yeah! Welcome to the show. This is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. I am going to be picking a best seven pin cylinder with the beautiful Leashy best seven cylinder pick I've ever seen in my life. I love this pick. Can you believe it? It can pick best cylinders. Let me just show you what a best cylinder is. Oh, I got to set this down. I better be careful with it. Although this pick is made for life. It really is. If you don't bend it or break it or smash it in a doorway, this pick is going to last. It is beautiful. This is the genuine Leashy, I think. Well, I don't know. It's the most expensive Leashy there is. The red. If you see that red sticker, you know you got a good one. I think I paid maybe $120 for this when it first came out but I've never shot a video using the best, best pick there is. It's a BE2-7. I don't know if you can see that. BE2-7. See that right there? That's its designation. And that two and one, put that on most of their picks. Meaning you can pick with this and you can read what the bitting is of the key which is these cuts on a key and here are the keys that go to this cylinder that we're going to pick so let's just yank out the core i have a core key here somewhere there it is it's a core key and we're going to take out the the core and it is a seven pin and it's all pinned up, by the way, seven pins. And there's the core key. Notice it pulls that lug. This is a great, great lock. I like these best cylinders, small format, icy core. But the reason I'm going to show you this lock first off, the best cylinder lock, is because... It's the first on my list. See this list? I showed it to you a while back. And this list consists of every pick that can be had for you guys in the USA. And I consolidated it and I made it simple for you to understand and what locks these things will pick. Because we gotta know, right? You look online, you see a leashy pick. I mean, do, do you even know what this is if you don't I'm going to tell you it's a B E 2 dash well we're going to start with the six pin I thought I was going to do a seven. Oh, that'll even be easier all right let's get out the seven pin Ooh, that goes next and we'll put in the best six pin first off so here's the six pin see when i say pin it's got chambers one two three four five six and when we say bidding that's these cuts on a key one two three four five six so there's the key and it's an a keyway so the only U.S. leashy picks 
this leashy right here will only pick through an A keyway. That's it. It won't pick through a, through a C, a B. It won't pick any other flavor of keyway but an A. Too bad, but that's, a, I, that's all we've got in the U.S. right now. A keyway. But you know that's the most common keyway there is. So let's slam this thing into a lock. Now this lock is a aluminum storefront lock. It has a thumb turn. Pulls it back on the inside. Go ahead and pull this lug back. Stick the cylinder in. Now we have a six pin in there. There's the seven, there's the six, and they both go in the same mortise housing. All right, there's the, the bidding on the key right here. So one of these keys, the change key, is a 496141. And it starts at the tip, so that's the deepest, deepest pin inside this cylinder. So let's go ahead and get our six pin out. Not the seven. And knowing the bidding really helps. I mean, seriously. If you knew the bidding on a key, you'd say, oh, I think I can pick it. And then you'd work at that. But you don't even have to know the bidding. So we're going to stick this right in. It just bottoms right out. So there it is. It's stuck in there goes right in. It will not turn. And you've got to turn it the right clockwise to get this lock to open. If you do it counterclockwise, we got a little trick I want to show you. This tool right here by HPC. It's a spinner and it'll spin it the opposite direction. And it goes so fast when it spins that it bypasses the shear line. You just stick it like that, push this button, and see how fast that was? It spins it. You push down, kind of hard. Very heavy spring inside of here, and you push this button, and that bad boy spins so fast and make your head spin. You can't even see it spin. Watch, I'm going to show it to you. See how fast that spun? Doink! Sideways. So that's what you need. I bought this from Sparrow, and this thing is, I'm sorry, it's, don't buy it. I couldn't get it. My spring, it's so weak. I don't know if I got a faulty one. I may have a faulty one, but it may work on some locks, but it's barely moving. I was proud of this. I mean, it looks pretty cool. The HPC model, super high-end great. I love it. All right, so let's pick this bad boy. So I've got it inside there. I did lubricate the, uh, the core. And when you pull this out, you want to make sure you, you stick the, the pick all the way down so it doesn't get caught inside of there. Isn't that a cool pick, guys? That's a beauty. BE2-6. And that works with a best six pin, best six pin, A key. Only the A. This will not work with any other keyway but the A. And that's most common in the US of A. I guess they wanted to start with that. They may never make another one that works with any other best cylinder, but we can hope. So I'm going to go ahead and put light pressure on this and we're going to see just how cool this is. So we're way deep down in. We're on this number six. Do this again. We're going to stick it inside of the cylinder and we're going to start with the furthest pin in and I'm going to put pressure on it. Very light pressure on this. I mean so light as to just barely push up. About how you'd push down on your keypad of your computer keypad. 
just very light pressure. So I'm all the way down, I'm on the sixth chamber, which is the tip of the key. So if we were to look at this key, I'm on the very last tip. I'm on that cut, where that pin sticks down in that cut. All right, let's do it. There's nothing on that one. See, it's springy. So we don't mess around with that one. Now I'm on the fifth one. Ooh, that's hard as a rock, guys. Fourth one, very hard. Ooh. Three, I got a click out of it. I got a click out of two. And that's springy. Back to six. Nothing there. Oh, good click on five. Nothing on four. Click on three. Nothing on two and nothing on one. We'll go back to three, back to four. Nothing on five. Good click on six. Five is set, I believe. Four is set. Three is springy. And two is springy. And one is springy. Let's go back here to six. I think that's set. Five is set. Four is hard. I just got a little click out of three. Nothing out of two. And nothing out of one. Back to six, five, four, nothing out of three. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna reset this. I think I overset everything. There's a bunch of masters in here. These are all not just change keys, there's master keys. This is a for real lock picking, guys. I never practiced this and it is tough. Best is a great cylinder. Let's try this again. Here we go. We're on six. Nothing on six. A good click on five. Nothing on four. No, no, no. One, two, and three are definitely all springy. Little click on six. Five is set. Four is definitely set. Three is springy. Two is springy. And one. Let's go over here to one. Ah, got a click out of one. Let's go back to two. Let's go back to three. Oh, got some, got some juice on three. Got a click on three. Oh, I felt the pin drop back. One and two seem set. Three is springy now. Let's go all the way down to six. A small click on six. Nothing on five. Four is set. Three is back springy again. And we got a click on two and a click on one. All right, this is gonna be trouble. Let's go ahead and reset ourselves. Uh, 
I click on 6, click on 5, that's hard as a rock that number 4. I click on 3, I click on 2, and I click on 1. Good click on 6. Five is set, four is set, two, that's number three, that's, I feel that's set right there. Two is springy, and one is springy. Maybe got to push three. Got to click on three. Nothing on one and two. We'll go back to six. Yep, six is set. Five. I think six just went back, but man, this is a touchy little thing. Four. It's right there, but that's not catching yet. Not binding, as they say. Nothing on one, three. Four is, four is completely set. Hey, I click on three. It's right around here. No. Oh, maybe one is binding again. Ooh, I felt the pick turn. One had a good click. Two has a good click. Three is right there. Click on two. One, I think, is set. Yeah. Go back here to six. Five. Four. Four is totally set. Three, a click, two, and one got a click. <laughs> it's two and three are going to give me trouble. One is set. Two got a click out of two. Got a click out of three. I'm on five. It's set. And six is set. Three a click. Two nothing. One is totally set. Oh, hey, I got a click out of two. Oh, I bet you went back. Click out of two. Click out of three. Out of two. <laughs> I got a click out of one. Six, five, four is set. No, well, that is springy. Just not binding yet. We're going to reset ourselves here. A little bit more. I'm tipping down so far. I'm having problems pulling this pick out. I wonder if I change the position just slightly. This pan of ice, you can do all kinds of stuff. How about like that? I would never pick straight down. Here we go. I'm all the way down on six. Nothing on six. 
Got a good click on five. Four is totally binding. Well, I think it's set. Small click on three. Click on two. Nothing on one. Good click on six. Five is springy. Four is totally binding. Three is nothing on three. Little click on two. Nothing on one. Nothing on five. We're going to start over. Boy, oh boy, these best cylinders are worth their money, aren't they? Let's give it a try again. Click on six. Click on five. I heard the pin go back on six. There, click five and six are set. Four is set. There's, there's some spool pins in there. I can feel them. Click on two. Nothing on one. All right, three, a good click on three. One click. Hmm. Click on three again. Click on two. Go back to six. That's set. Five is set. Four is set. Three probably is set. Two is either overset right there and let's get one good click on one three two is nothing on two click on one go back to six Five, four, all, those are already picked. Three is nothing. Click on two. Click on one. Hmm. I'm going to try picking it the opposite direction. Starting with one. Click on one, click on two, click on three, nothing on four, click on five, click on six, back to one, click, two I think is set. Three is set. Two, nothing on two. Hmm. I can hear the pins jumping back and forth on one, two, and three. <laughs> this is one bummer. Five is set. Four is set. Three is set. Two is not. Well, it might just have me beat tonight. We're going to restart 
I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm going to push down. The lock won't open this way, but I have a spinner I can use. Oh, much better feel this way. Six is set. Five is giving me trouble. Four is locked. Three just had a click out of three. Two went down, but these are both loose. Maybe they're set. Let's see what threes feels like again. All right, three just got a click out of three. Two is set. One is not. Let's go back to six. Five. Four. Huh. Three is set. Got a click out of two. Nothing on one. Three is set. Got a click out of two. These are jumping back and forth. One, three. We're going to reset ourselves again. You're going to really be glad you stayed and hit that like button because I finally get it picked. Hooray! I'm going to pick this lock right now. Starting on six. Got to click on six. Got to click on five. Four is totally set. Three is not, it's springy. Two is springy. Got a click out of one. Click out of six. Five is set. Four is set. Three is not. Two, got a little click out of two. Got a click out of one. Three is binding now. Oh. No, nothing there. Click out of two. Got a small click out of three. Two is set. Got a click out of one. Three is set, six is set, five is set, four, where I already know it's right at the top. That's got to be a nine. And three. Oh, I heard a pin drop. Click on two. Click on one. Ooh, good. Good click on three. Click on two. One is just completely loose. Six is back. Five is set. Four is set. I heard a pin move. Three. Got a click out of three, got a click out of two. These are all fault sets all the way through that. Let's see. Maybe I'm pushing too hard. We're going to reset ourselves. Click out of six. Click out of five. Ah, uh, click out of four. Nothing on three. 
Not, ooh, little click on two. Nothing I wanted to really. Click on six. Five is set. Four is probably overset. Click on three. These, these are our problem child. One, two, and three. Click on three. Click on two. Click on three. These are going to be what we're going to have problems with right here. One and two. Click on two. Click on three. Click on one. Click on three. Click on two. Click on one. Make sure you, these are set. Oh, I heard it. Reset itself. Click on three. Click on two. Double click on one. Ah, I think it's got me beat, guys. That is sad. All right, here we go again. <laughs> we got six is nothing on six. Good click on five. Four is totally set. Double click on three. Good click on two. Click on one. Click on three. Good click on two and one. Good click on six. Five is set. Four is set. Good click on three. Two is set. One is definitely set. Oh, overset two. Click on three. Good click on two. Good click on one. Six. Good click on five. Good click on three, guys. Two is set. One is set. Gotta be this three. Ah, oh, three probably overset now. Two. I'm gonna look at the key. The cut on number. The closest to the bow is one. I probably have never been down there. Yeah, I haven't. That pin was very hard to push. Two, good click on two. Good click on three. Good click on two. Good click on one. Six, five is down. I just heard one come up. There it was six. Five is down. Click on three. Click on two. Click on one. Click on three. Nothing on two. Four. 
9. There's the problem. See that 9 pin? That's the problem. All right. We're going to give it a try by just reading the key. Nothing on 6. 9 should be all the way to the top. Don't do anything with 9. Got to click on 4. Click on 3. Click on 2. Click on 1. Go back to 6. Got to click on 6. We don't go on the 5 pin at all. Number 4 is set. Number 3 is set. Number 2 is set. Oh, I just heard a pin drop. Click on one. Look at all those pins in there. I feel them. Two is set. There. One is finally set. Go back to six. Good click on six, don't touch five. Good click on four. Click on three. Nothing on two. And one. Six. Five may be just overset already, just from four set. Three, two, one. We're going to start over again. Yowzer, this hurts. See my finger? All right, let's do it again. We got six. Good click on six. We jump over five. Got to click on four. Got to click on three. Got a good click on two. Good click on one. I think there's two shear lines on number one. There we are. Ha ha ha. Wow. Let's see if let's see what it looks like if we're gonna read it. Cause it does say two and one. So we're going to read this key, and we're going to hold the real key up. It has several options in there. There is a master key behind the whole system. So let's just read this. So the deepest pin, which is the tip, all the way in, should be a five. Yeah, that's a four. It's barely a four, but it's a four. The next one is a nine, which I was setting that five all the way down. So I was pushing it way past the shear line. So that's a nine. The next one should be a six, right? Yeah, a six. And it is. See the six? It's right on that six. Could be a hair down. No, no, that is. That's six. The next one is supposed to be. Oh, what well, no wonder. It's a one. Well, guess what? There is another shear line right at the top of that. Because that is all the way up on the on the nine. It must be a master pin cut there. And the next one should be a four. 
and it looks like a four and the last one should be a one uh, if I can get it to hold here I'm all the way out yeah it's a one I'm dropping the uh, leash is coming out of its hole What's well, actually looks like a five. Yeah, it's into the uh, the cut of the control key, a five. So the two, you know, I might have had that pick out. The two looks like a a four. Yep. So it's a four. So, you see, you're going to have real trouble reading a key. They show, like on the internet here, I see guys doing this. And they show, they just zip through reading the key. Oh, this, 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 and this. Because they're probably looking at this piece of paper <laughs> with the cuts, and they're just holding it there. Yeah, it's a, let's see, it's a number four. Yep, there's four. And, yep, nine, six, yep. And then, okay. Then it's a, a number one. Oh, yeah, it's a number one. See, they just kind of fool you. So there it is. That's pretty cool, huh? Here's what I plan on doing. I'm going to shoot a video for each separate leashy pick sold for the USA for our locks, not foreign locks. And I'm going to show you each pick and name it on a list and show you the lock it goes for each separate video i'm going to name the videos so that they come up on a search when you look for them and you need just a certain pick a leashy pick for a u.s lock if it doesn't come up on youtube after i'm done with 23 of these videos it doesn't exist so I'm trying to make it easy just for you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Look at the list at the end of this video and you're going to be happy. Please hit the like button and tell your friends. I'll have more door and lock tips like this coming your way in the future. Thanks again, guys. The pick we used tonight was the BE2-6 for a six-pin best cylinder. That's what we used tonight. So all you got to do is say that into Google, and you'll find that pick. And you'll see it right here on my video. Thanks again, guys.